So kind of a corny question, but I still want to ask it. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> uh, right now, I feel... I feel um, okay. Like, I, I feel... <laughs> I wish you gave me a reason that you were better at leaving. That you got your kicks from seeing me low. I always let the good ones go. I think some people really might relate to letting good things in your life go. Um, and I was wondering what inspired this song in the first place. Yeah, I think it's it exactly was inspired by that, you know, like. I have been someone who has kind of always ran towards danger mm. instead of maybe going for like sticking with something safe or something that's good for me. So I think, yeah, as you said, I think a lot of people have sort of had that experience before yeah. of like mm. leaving the things that are good for you and like going towards the fire. And that could be within a person or within like... I don't know, a thing or an addiction or whatever. So yeah, I suppose it's about that. Because I was wondering, does you running towards danger, so to say, also seep into your work as a musician? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel that any of my collaborators are particularly dangerous, so to speak, but I do think that they're all very fearless and unafraid to push boundaries and you know experiment and explore with new things and I think I gravitate more towards risk takers you know mm -hmm. in my music and I don't think I ever really want to do things that uh, feel safe so a danger of sorts I suppose right because I was about to say like looking at your career so far I feel like the last thing you've been doing is playing it safe <laughs> Yeah, I mean, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I I just, I try and do what I feel mm -hmm. in my heart and I try and make music that I genuinely love. Um, and I know that sounds stupid, but I've definitely made music that I didn't like in the past just for the sake of, I don't know, like being commercial or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know, it's like... Um, just like following my intuition, I think is important. Yeah. yeah. Um, you've once described your album, Charlie, as your most personal record. How I'm mm -hmm. feeling now from a distance, it seemed like one of your most freeing records because you were just mm -hmm. going with the flow. If mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, you're working on a new record right now. How yeah. would you describe this album process so far? You know, I would, I would kind of describe it as like the polar opposite of um how I'm feeling now which was a very very open and very fast process I, I recorded that album within five weeks in lockdown mm -hmm. and as I was recording it was kind of getting contributions from fans and people like watching me create it online this album it's kind of been done in the exact opposite way like it's the opposite of what I would describe as DIY it's been in the works now since before how I'm feeling now because I was oh, using wow. a few songs I was well because originally I was going to make this album then but then the pandemic happened and it just didn't feel right you know to me this album is more kind of like luxurious and expensive sounding and 80s leaning and glamorous I suppose mm -hmm. um so I think you know to really kind of like capture all of those things that's kind of the way I had to make it to taking a longer time being more detailed and um really creating it in a very like pop way so kind of a corny question but I still want to ask it how are you feeling right now <laughs> uh right now I feel I feel um, okay. Like I, I feel, <sighs> I feel good. You know, like I'm, I'm really excited about my new music and mm -hmm. this new kind of world that I'm stepping into, which feels more me than ever before. Um, but you know, I also feel vulnerable. I think 
whenever I release new music, no matter what it sounds like, it's always very empowering, but very scary at the same time, because you're putting, you know, your soul out on the line for people to basically comment on Mm -hmm. um, or like rip apart or praise. So it's, you know, that's kind of always strange. Of course, just going off of what I've seen when it comes to the visuals and your single good ones, I also feel some kind of like dark, almost dominatrix kind of vibe where you're dominating something or somebody is that am I perceiving that right or is that not a world no no I I think you are and um whilst I haven't used the word dominatrix yet I do I do understand where you're coming from like there is kind of a um real like strength and um control and fearlessness Mm -hmm. to what I'm doing at the moment and you know, I think I think I'm willing to let people read into it however they want, whether they want to see it as like a kind of sexual sexual dominance or whether they want to see it as like, you know, me sort of talking about pop music and the pop mm-hmm. music industry as a whole. Like I'll leave it up to interpretation, but I think you know this album for me is all about empowerment and the empowerment of the self and the kind of archetypes of like what women are supposed to be in pop music you know like the stereotypes and playing into them but also breaking them you know um I love what you said on your Instagram you said tip for new artists just do what they say I feel like you've been doing the total opposite (laughs) Yeah, well, yeah, totally. I mean, I've been doing this, a few tips for new artists on um, my Instagram, including, uh, I think, tips for new artists, sell your soul for money and fame, tip for new artists, it never gets better, things like that. And, you know, I just enjoy, I enjoy playing with the tension between, um, being somebody who really does do what they want and uh, really has explored a lot of different angles of the industry versus being someone who's signed to a major label and the tensions that some that can sometimes bring or that people think it brings mm-hmm. or you know that kind of thing I enjoy playing in that space and letting people feel what however they want to feel whether it's annoyed or whether they think it's funny or whether they think it's stupid or whether they think it's cool like I'm happy for all responses you know yeah 